Hello everyone and welcome back to the Forbidden Lands. Tonight we'll be engaging in some more D&D &D adventures with our wonderful DM Sterling and Dilf, Hosve and Ultima. And of course myself. Hi. No, you're not included. No, I'm never included. <laughs> no. We just need you to stream it. Ooh. Oh yes, I'm just here for the uh, the, the, the back end as always. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Synthar. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Uh, my name is Sterling of the Black Pants Plans Jap oh, Black Pants Legion. Black, and Black, as Black. as Zinthar so kindly said, we are a bunch of mad Australians exploring a mad world. Recently released from the grip of a mysterious uh, mist that stopped people from travelling. And now we are exploring this strange land and its inhabitants. In our last session, which was uh, a few weeks back, unfortunately we've had uh, some real-life issues get in the way, as ever, but uh, it was quite a, quite a dramatic end to our last session, and indeed we uh, took some casualties, did we not? Casualties. Alas, Brack is no more. Would anyone care to elaborate on that, or happy for me to wax lyrical? From mushrooms he came, to mushrooms he went. Brack is now in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Harpy's got big rocks. Uh, it's very hard to live without a head, I've noticed. Yeah, I mean, getting head from Harpy's is never a good idea, but not <laughs> that way. One up, 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 up. I don't know it's bad, you know, worth it. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> I came, I saw, I died. Worth it. Oh, I came. But, I uh, yes. <laughs> yes, no, poor Grok uh, came off the worse with uh, the party's uh, brief and violent encounter with a group of harpies. And uh, the party fled, uh, understandably so, uh, finding themselves in this misty, uh, haunting, nearly silent uh, mountain valley, whereupon they came across what you see before you in this lovely art piece provided by Forbidden Lands, a grand castle looming over the valley, and strange noises and uh, another s and, and an oppressive sombre atmosphere just uh, emanates from this place. But interestingly enough, before the main castle itself, there is an outlying tower, which you can again see in the art, ruined uh, mostly, but all of you, the party, will note that uh, there's torchlight shining from some of the uh, broken, tumble-down windows of this of this tower. It is early morning. You were running like hell from uh, those delightful, delightful harpies. But now you are presented with this situation. What do you do, O oh brave adventurers? I don't know about you, but for the moment I'd like to have a roof over my head. Yes, yeah, so sounds, sounds like a plan. Plan. At least until your entrails stop being your extrails. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I concur. Let us approach this uh, new and interesting structure with torchlight, hopefully, that is inviting. Mm. Ask if we can borrow a cup of sugar and, you know, a gross of healing potions. Mm. Such a bounty. Very well. <laughs> you start to trudge up the muddy pathway you see there leading towards the uh, the tower, and you notice the, the moat, the the brackish water surrounding the, the castle itself is almost uh, an oily black. It's very hard to see anything within it, but every now and again, somewhat ominously, you catch... Uh, sight of movement in your peripheral vision in the water, you know, ripples, the odd splash. But all the while, this valley remains 
relatively quiet, oppressively so. Is it black like it looks like oil, or is it actually oil? Because I'm getting major Zorg praising vibes right now. <laughs> you would have to go down and have a closer look at this water if you wish. I'm curious, but first things first, let's go to roof. <laughs> yes, roof right. first. Maybe I'll throw one of those torches out the window later. <laughs> We always have an exit strategy. You approach the entrance to this ruined tower and you notice along the architecture, it's of distinctively very old human manufacture. You see various statues of uh, human warriors in full plate armor uh, etched very carefully into the stonework. The doorway, however, has broken uh, nearly completely off its hinges, but hanging ajar, giving you yet more uh, vision of, of, of the place inside. And interestingly enough, the first thing that hits you is a certain smell. A very pungent aroma, which seems very familiar to you. It's not quite incense, but <laughs> it's a deep, earthy, soupy sort of smell. Is it food soupy? Mushroomy? Body or, or um, medicine soupy? A mixture of both. It, it, it's got that alchemical undertone to it, but it's also got that um, more wholesome wholesome, hungry smell. And perhaps some of you might be starting to uh, <laughs> uh, feel a bit more hungry um, smelling it, but as you also approach the door, get close to the door, you also hear um, shuffling noises within the sound of movement. I shall knock upon the door. There is a moment of silence. The movement stops. Good evening, sir or madam. The door opens, but Crack is standing there. But you're dead. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Friends. I went underground, but I've still got my cloak. I just don't have my kitchen or my clothes. I mean, we have that. <laughs> it's in a bag. You appear very alive for a dead man. Yeah. How many crack spores are there? I lost a finger. Just How durable are you? How durable am I? Questions for later. He, he presents his hand, and indeed, um, which hand would you like it to be, Grok? Uh, left hand. Left hand. His left hand is missing the index finger. There's a there's a horrible, almost like a mushroomy stump where it is. Lots of scar tissue, and yeah, doesn't look nice. You're not immortal, are you? <laughs> What's that? Unkillable. I close the door and then open it again. <laughs> <laughs> and then hello friends good to see you again <laughs> I just oh, sigh fuck me <laughs> so how did you get here I was just here how long have you been here for I, I, I don't know I kind of just woke up and I was here and then you were there well, it's been a day, maybe two days, since your head got crushed by a falling rock and we buried you. I mean, I'm, I, I missed a finger. Can you see my hand? Yeah, I think my head's yep, still here. It's still here. Yep, there's still no finger on there. Anyway, um, so how you been? Apparently dead. Apparently, yes. This is all very weird. 
Can I do? Is it like an insight check or a wits check or something? It's. Have I heard of something like this before? You can certainly make a roll for it if you wish. Um, it would be a law check for you. Uh, it doesn't matter. Race. It all sucks. <laughs> Ah, success. Uh, has one success. He is a druid. Druids have strange powers. No. But you haven't heard of resurrection. It's, it's obviously not something that happens every now and again. I think I saw Thumkati. Hmm. What did you say, sorry? I think I saw Thumkati. Who's my teacher? <laughs> well, I guess the world is just not done with you yet. Well, this is a lovely little place you have. What? And do you have any healing that you could provide to our wolf team? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good to see you. Sorry you're not dead. Now, can you heal us? <laughs> We're all very upset about your death, but you're not dead, so I'm getting over it quite quickly. <laughs> I, I think I'd be a little bit side. suspicious, but I'm going to keep that to myself. And take Hosfeg near the fire that's nearby. So he appears to have set up this little makeshift um, fire pit in amongst the detritus of this uh, ruined tower. There's bits of wood that he's using for fuel, uh, a muddy straw-like, straw-strewn bed in, in one of the on one side, and what appears to be a very basic set of table and, and chairs that he's put together, and he doesn't need to appear to be brewing something in an old cauldron over the over the fire. I suppose we should give you back your equipment. It's in the I mean, sack. I've got my cloak. Yes, how did that happen? I thought we took that. Did we take that? No. 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 It was so thoroughly infused with grac odor, we decided that it was best to stay with him. Ah. Interesting. It is no longer worth anything. <laughs> to anybody but grac. Well, I think, uh, I think we should take a rest, perhaps. We do have this wonderful castle behind us to explore, if you haven't done the honour already. I've, I've only just been here. Hmm. I think, like, I woke up here. I thought it was a new home, so I arranged it, lit a fire. Then you were here. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I need a nap. nap. <laughs> and some food. But I think I'm not supposed to get it, so whatever. <laughs> it's a thing that has happened today. And honestly, it is not the weirdest thing Grack has ever done, so... No, okay. Well, at least it's not a demon fox following us and screaming about our dreams. <gasps> Did you see the fox again? No, no. It's, no. it's been away for no. a while. I like the fox. The fox was a good companion to have and never talk to. He talked a lot. <laughs> Indeed. Said some interesting things. So have you been here for a day, two days? 30 seconds? A few hours, maybe. Have you heard anything weird? Seen Honestly, anything weird? I've just been poking at my stump. I haven't really gone outside. You know, that's fair. I'd probably do that too. I've got this weird ring around my neck. Yep. This is tracking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did you cut off your finger, transplant it to your neck stump, and it grew into a new head? I believe we found his finger. <laughs> ah, the old heady finger stump. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> to explain it more fully though I was rolling up my new character and, and I was looking at the lucky trait which I had forgotten that Crack had so I messaged Sterling being like hey 
this lets me re-roll on those nasty death throws, right? <laughs> yep. And I posted a video. Ah, I see. Of you actually rolling it so that you can be like, I have escaped death. <laughs> but it still yeah. cost him a finger using whatever mysterious or possibly foul druidic mag magics. Mm. He has returned to you. I dig it. Good. <laughs> Oh, now we don't need to find a new guide. Yes, this streams like the process greatly. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so we have a semi-setup encampment thing here where Grack has been brewing Correct. his whatever. Correct, so you won't have to set it up if you wish to rest here. Uh, yes, I want to take a nap. still not great, so I suggest we... Uh, let Hoss nap and let Grek do horrible mushroomy things to her. I'm just not going to look. <laughs> Maybe if I don't see it, it'll go away. <laughs> just ignore it. It'll get better over time. Rub yep. some dirt. It yep. won't hurt. I think. I can attest that this did not hurt that much. I'm pretty sure my my Yeah, he was like nearly dead. Hmm. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, I misunderstood. So, do you oh. need me to do any rolls? Uh, I'd like to cast on my healing things on Hoss Fae, but I can't open my character sheet, so I can't see which one. <laughs> um, you certainly could attempt to help her own significant injuries along. I'd like to do that, please. Uh, I will see if I can roll it for you. Peace. Oh, okay, right. Da, 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 da. Put you back up there. You're no longer broken. All right. Is done. You lay hands upon Hosfe, and she has this ragged injury across her gut. And utilizing your strange arts, Hosfe, you start to feel quite a bit better. The uh, mass of scar tissue on your belly begins to change a subtle greenish hue, but it seems to be healing far more rapidly. And Grok's ministrations uh, uh, reduce your healing time to but one day. I say with the utmost gratitude that I can, thank you. That's okay, friend. I probably now. would have died. Yes, that was certainly a fear. Yeah, I did the best I could, but I do not have mushroom power. <laughs> Indeed. Will Grok be keeping watch, given that he is sprightly and yes. rested? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. There's food in the pot. There's a bed over there for you, Hoss. I'm going to go take watch outside. I will exhaustedly sit, sink into the comfiest place on the ground. Yep. Get me my snooze on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for the next few hours, Grok stands watch over this a mysterious lake, or well, this moat that surrounds this tower while the rest of the party sleeps. And you, like the others, Grok, you catch sight of something, possibly many things, moving under the water. You only catch really sight of ripples, and occasionally, in a beam of sunlight, you'll see a dark, shadowy form moving beneath the water 
But can I roll a pebble into the edge just to see what happens if anything happens? You can, yes. Tossing this stone into the water, it disappears almost instantly into the ink inky blackness. And for the l about half an hour, you see no ripples at all. It's almost like that the for half an hour the surface of the lake is a pure flat uh, mirror. A mirror. Oh. <laughs> a dark mirror you can't see into, but yeah, just. There are no ripples for a good half an a hour. A black mirror, you say? Mm. Oh no, it'll attack you with cliches. <laughs> Quick, hide your pigs. <laughs> but the hours what? pass, unless you're going to do anything further. Yeah, I'll just wander up and down the path, looking at like All right. special. The only other things that you notice are, again, the strange gurgling sounds, the occasional scream coming from the depths of the castle above you. You keep an eye out for danger, but nothing comes for the next few hours as the rest of the party rests. I'll scream back. <laughs> like just standing on the edge and I'll just start yelling at the castle to see if I can get her to respond you think you see movement on one of the highest towers of the castle above you but it's distant and you don't really you're not really able to uh, to see clearly what it was but you see that and you start to feel this overwhelming sense that something is watching you back. Hello, friend. <laughs> just smile and wave. And just keep wandering backwards and forwards. Very well. Very well. It's about midday when the rest of the party start to stir from their rest, and the sun is high in the sky and manage to clear at least some of the clouds away and burn away some of the the mist that uh, cloaks these peaks. However, it's not total, and there are still wisps of the dank fog that uh, cloys to some of the uh, rocky outcrops and crags around, but the rest of the day is yours, dear party. Well, I mean, we're here. It's here. I'm not mm -hmm. saying it's uninhabited, but I'm just saying that free real estate. Indeed. I think it'll be uninhabited soon enough. <laughs> I just pop my head back in the door being like, oh no, someone lives there. Oh. They like to scream. A lot. Oh, I mean, I who mean... doesn't enjoy a good scream in the midnight sun? Well, clearly we need to go and give them a new reason to indulge in their favourite hobby. <laughs> also, I can make the lake stand still. No. Can you put the lake on fire? It looks like the lake can burn. No, I just said I can make it stand still. Well, perhaps there's some fishies we can eat later. Perhaps. Uh, I would suggest we just hang out here, maybe do some fishing, maybe do some cookery, maybe just chill until Hoss's guts are on the inside. And then we go visit our neighbours and see what they're screaming about. I'll see if we can join them. You never know. It might be a choir. Just not a very good one. Mm -hmm. We can give them some bucket. Indeed. Some tips would be useful for these poor unfortunates. Ah. Is Hosfe healed now, or we need more time? She'd need another half day. Another half day, which means we would probably be going in there at night. Well, how much, like, hunting and harvesting and things can we get done and get some food back? Because I'm pretty sure I've got no food left. That is true. And we can investigate this lake. Oh, no, we went back to town. 
we did. We did. There were some issues. Mm, we did manage to restock, though. The um, barman gave us a whole bunch of everything, so oh, should be all right for a little while. Sounds good. But absent other things, I'm going to spend some quality time with that cauldron and um, <laughs> see if I can figure out this cooking bullshit people talk about. Mm. Can't be that hard. Sounds like a fantastic idea. Yes. Uh, very good. So you're cooking. Who will be fishing? Checking out the lake? I would like to learn how to fish, I guess. This sounds like the stupidest place in on Earth that you could... Or the Forgotten Realms, or wherever you are. Forgotten lands. That you could... <laughs> forbidden lands. Yes, I got re-emboweled. <laughs> you have been re-emboweled. <laughs> Grack re-emboweled me. <laughs> which I'm eternally thankful. At least he didn't embow you, he just added extras. Mm. Oh, there are extras. <laughs> right. Why do I feel slightly fuller than I did last time? So Darius is going fishing. Posik is cooking. What will Grok and Hosfe do? Well, I will do whatever I need to in order to rest. <laughs> you can keep resting. That's that's perfectly fine. Yeah, I wouldn't be looking too closely the next few times you go to the bathroom, just in case you are um, passing mushrooms. Oh. The side effects of healing. They will pass with time. <laughs> um, I'll just explore the tower more, like really thoroughly. All right. I will let you do that. Okay. So to begin with, we will deal with Dilf's attempts at cooking. Can you make me a wits check, please? And no bonuses on that one, because it's whether I learnt it rather than the actual thing. Uh, I... no, I don't think you get any bonuses for this. This is just to see how capable you are. Oof! Oh dear. Do you wish to push it? You know what? Let's give it a crack. Worst case scenario, I'm going to turn into a gibbering wreck because of my own inability. <laughs> which will be fun. I don't understand. Salt is supposed to be tasty. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Um, the rest of you, as you start to go about your business, uh, notice after, oh, I'd say about an hour or so into this particular shift, uh, a strange even more pungent cl uh, aroma emerging forth from the tower billowing, billowing out of the uh, out of the windows a, a, a thick blue smoke that pours up into the sky and coughing and spluttering comes forth Posic, who is now a beautiful bright shade of blue Hello, new blue friend. <laughs> I think it's the same blue friend. Just less green. Is Hosfei okay? The moral different. of this story. <laughs> when the mushroom druid has been doing weird things with a <laughs> cauldron, clean it before you try to cook. <laughs> and with that, I'm just going to pass out on the pathway. <laughs> <laughs> Valuable lessons for us all. Valuable lessons. Very good. Very I good. would never poison him. No. No, I doubt it. There's so many more effective ways. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, in the tower, Grok has been searching around. Can I have from you, Grok, a scouting check, please? Uh, could you roll the one for me, please? Sorry, still can't have my character sheet. We will have to get that fixed. Uh, there we go. Two successes. Mm -hmm. 
Great success. Great success. Let's see what you might have found. I can sort the right table. One moment, please. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves while the DM, DM gets his... Uh, yes. DM has been doing Devil's some very right. good dramatic readings recently. Look, I'll make the leg stand still. I'll just pick up a big rock and throw it into the water. No, stop fishing. No, look, see, the lake is still. Yes, but lake moving mean din din. <laughs> but it's still. Oh. All of it. All of it is still. Has anyone seen Wednesday? I've <laughs> seen some episodes of it. Yes. Specifically the fishing scene. I have not seen that one, though. No. It's like, Father packed your favourite bait. She pulls out a grenade. <laughs> well, listen, that is listen. very effective bait. Yeah, no, it didn't say effective. She just said favourite. Well, it's favourite because it's so effective, clearly. That stuns all the fish. Hmm. Not necessarily dead. Thank you again for all the subs, Toilet Obliterator. Very much appreciated. Yes. Oh, thank you. What you discover, dear Grok, is a small stash tucked away behind some fallen rubble and a nice little leather pouch. 17 copper coins. We're rich! <laughs> yes, rich. <laughs> well, I still don't have any clothes, just my cloak. So I don't have any pockets. We so gave you your stuff back. I don't want a little naked goblin running around. <laughs> I'm not naked, I've got my cloak. Please put on pants. Naked. <laughs> Nicky. Just go Meanwhile, get dressed. Down at the lake, Darius goes for a bit of an explore. And Darius, as, as you go down to the edge of the water, you notice a large... Well, a couple of things, in fact. You notice a broken wagon. And actually, it looks like it's been here not too long. You can actually still see the, the muddy tracks of the wheels as, as it's come off the road. And been smashed by something and perhaps somewhat ominously nearby is a large sticky oil-like substance across the, the muddy ground. Ah, an unfortunate merchant. I will have to go and inspect his cart. Maybe burn the oil slick first. <laughs> Uh, possible it could be used as a deterrent to whatever dragged the cart down, so I'm going to hold off on that. <sighs> Fire will happen, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Upon closer inspection of the cart, it doesn't seem to have anything of value within. A few more broken, smashed boxes and crates, but whatever contents they held are long gone. You do also note quite a significant blood stain around where the driver would have been sitting. Blood stain as if someone had been exsanguinated or smashed into the ground. Uh, Is there a to, to your to your goblin intellect, the latter. Ah, I see. But no sign of a body, just the splatter of blood. I don't think today is a day of fishing. It looks like uh, <laughs> whatever lives in this lake has a taste for red blood, and I'm not a fan of my blood leaving my body. I like to keep it inside. I'll uh, take a look at that oil stain and see if it's explosible. Touch it slightly sure, and rub it, it between my fingers. It's it's oh it smells disgusting to you. It doesn't smell like um 
like burning oil for an oil lamp or whatever. It's this sticky ichor type substance and it kind of makes you shudder with you know, uh, disgust when you rub it in your fingers. It looks, however, almost like blood in a way. Yep, That's time to leave. Consistency. <laughs> I might promptly up the hill and away from the cart. <laughs> One other item um, that I will note, given your reconnaissance, the bridge across the moat into the castle has long since been destroyed. There's only a stumpy ruin of the of the bridge, and you will have to find another way across or through the moat. Don't suppose there's a decent-sized tree nearby? There are, actually. Plenty of logs and detritus and bits and pieces. I wonder which part of the castle screams. I'm guessing the top. It's always the top. I'm going to... Or the basement. I'm going to return to my friends at this point and be like, dead guy. Hmm. It's not really unexpected, is it? I don't know what a merchant was hoping to gain by dragging a cart all the way here. Perhaps he got caught by a fog or some foul weather and sought shelter, but uh, whatever it was that got them didn't do so delicately. So, messy eater. Violent, at the very least. Yeah, I prefer not to be uh, you know, hors d'oeuvres for uh, whatever this happens to be. Well, I want well, to cook the things, not be cooked. Indeed. If I had to venture a, an educated guess, I'm assuming some sort of water-dwelling, betentacled creature. But it can't be ruled out that it's just a very fat fish that has a penchant for slamming itself against the shore. <laughs> I think I prefer that theory to the tentacle theory. I'm going to bet on that, but not very much. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, this castle has a drawbridge out. There are some trees. We could fashion a, a bridge to the entrance if we so desired. How? Well, we would cut them down and roll them over to the drawbridge and then shove them across. And if they're long enough, they should reach. And three or four of them should do to create a decent walking platform. Got an eye break. Nope. We'll be able to get the horses to help move the logs. That shouldn't be a problem, just so long as our water-dwelling... Neighbor doesn't decide to uh, come visit. Thank you, Atamu, for the eye break. Thank you. Ultima's gone AFK as well. So. Oh, yes. So, be back shortly. As the day. Uh, moves on into the evening. As you discuss all these different bits and pieces, your plans for uh, your exploration of the castle, your discussion is interrupted by the clear sound of footsteps trudging up the muddy, rocky path towards your town. Ah, Visitors. Hopefully friendly. Oh, they never are. Except for those orc and that human. They were quite lovely. New friends. We can hope. Shortly thereafter, there is a thorough knock at yes. the door. Greetings, travellers. I have been expecting your arrival, this strange uh, 
wizened old voice issues forth. Care to let an old traveller inside? It has been a long journey getting here. Why is there an old man out in the wilderness? Why are we out in the wilderness, Drac? Money. And we got kicked out of town. We don't have a choice. Plus it's nice out here. Well, I suppose I'll open the door slightly. Standing before you is this elderly figure. Human human male, long, straggly beard, what looks to be little bits of twigs caught within. Standing astride a, a staff and peering up at you. Well, not up at you, because you're a goblin. Down at you, somewhat... Uh, somewhat curiously, his eyes have this sort of glint of youthful mischief Sorry, to them. is he riding his staff like a broom? Not quite, no, but he's leaning on it quite heavily. Oh. <laughs> I can see why, yes, <laughs> I was wondering yes, the way, well. I, the way I said that, yes. <laughs> and greetings. Ah, oh, you must be young Darius, yes? Ah. You know my name, friend, but I don't know yours. Some call me Dalb, a bard of these lands. I come and I go, and I hear tell of travellers and adventurers such as yourselves exploring these places. Ah. I come to give you greeting. Can I do a lore check, even though it's going to fail? Ah, <laughs> yes. You've never heard of a Dalb. Can I do a law check? Or an insight certainly. check? Yeah, certainly. Be either Is he bald? Uh, not quite, no. He, well, you can't really tell. He's, he's got a hood over oh. his... Bald spelt backwards. Ooh. Ow. Oh, I don't know, I don't know what that means. Success. The fails only matter if you push it, so... Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, yeah. He's... Yes. You're not quite sure what sort of vibe this guy is giving you. He doesn't seem to be a threat. He doesn't seem armed, besides the staff. Hmm. Well, well met, traveller, I guess. Um, would you care to come in? We have mushrooms. Thank you, yes. I would most appreciate your time and company. And in exchange, I can tell you about this place. Hmm? Ah, knowledge. Mm -hmm. A fair trade. Indeed. Worth more than any coin, some mm. might say. However, if you would be so kind as to leave your staff outside. Certainly. <laughs> Although I find it strange that you would deny an old man his walking stick. Hey! <laughs> staff outside. <laughs> very well, very well. He... Puts it to one side, outside, leaning against the door. Well, then come in, share our fire. My thanks, young Master Goblin. Well, you haven't spat on me yet, so that's usually a good sign. <laughs> now, why would I do that, Master Darius? I've met people. I've been most unhospitable. Indeed. You will not find my hospitality lacking, only my patience. <laughs> Who's being my hospitable thanks. to who here? <laughs> A good evening to you all, he glances around the, the tower, and he uh, rather swiftly, quite sprightly for, a, for an old man, uh, sits himself down and produces a smoking pipe and tobacco and starts to set himself up in front of the fire. Did he seem to recognise any others? Yes, he seemed to. He seemed to just seemed to give you all a bit of a nod of... Yeah, no, no, sorry, but he knew Darius's name. Did he give yeah. any indication that he knew our name? Or... He, ha he doesn't speak to you, no. He okay. uh, focuses just on getting himself set up with his, with his pipe. You're welcome to try and engage him. What can you tell us of this place, then? 
Seems abandoned. Shame for such a nice castle. Hmm. Aye, it is abandoned. It has been here many, many years. Ten generations, in fact. Ten whole generations. Curious. Indeed. At that time, it is said that the cruel King Algorod declared that Alderland, that place far to the south, had become overcrowded with the burgeoning crowds of humanity. He sought to expand his kingdom by leading an army across the mountains to the south into these fair wildernesses. And here he met his doom. He fell in, in battle against the demonic hordes of the sorcerer Zygotha. As he was lost, so too was his scepter, Nehaka, rumored to be the source of the king's power. However, the will of King Algorod is said, it is said, burnt so fiercely that he refused to die and for ages stood watch in the stronghold that he built here. This place, Weatherstone. Weatherstone. Hm. Legend has it, my dear goblin, that... Algorod will once again march across these lands one day to retrieve the spire of Nehaka and complete his conquest of the Ravenlands. But the curse of his undeath was suddenly broken and his the king and his warriors finally went to their final resting place here. There are whispers, though. Whispers I've heard from place to place, town to town, that, well, the good king's war chest remains here in Weatherstone, along with his ensorcelled blade, Rustbite. Forever guarded by evil spirits and, it is said, a foul monster that calls this place home. Yes, I believe I saw the leftovers of one of its late meals. <laughs> I know of what you speak, and my dear boy, there are worse things in this place than that. But were you to find Rustbite, the king's blades, he would have the strength to slay whatever foul creatures lurk in these pla in this place. Have any of you ever the beast? heard of this thing? I've heard similar things. Hmm. Not about the sword, but I've heard about the king. I see. No, I have not. It is quite simple, Kill. The beast and the treasure is yours. What sort of beast are we thinking or are we dealing with here, good traveller? No one knows for sure. No one has faced it and lived. But you are. All... Quick of foot and quick of wit. I'm sure you're capable. Well, is there any skills you might be able to teach us in order to help us defeat such a beast? Or the other I am but a humble bard. I am but interested in the tales of these lands and the heroes such as you that traverse them. You know anything about cooking? <laughs> have you what my little goblin friends and 
Wolfkin. Let me stay with you a while and I will teach you how to cook a fine meal. Sounds good to me. Not that we're not grateful of the deliciousness of mushrooms, but the occasional change in menu would be appreciated. Very well. And for the next shift, he spends time with you, in particular uh, with you, Posik. He seems to know that this is something you've been trying to, to accomplish, and he works over your shoulder and guides you in the preparation of uh, some rations for a hearty meal. And he doesn't share very much more about himself or Weatherstone. He focuses entirely on assisting you, Posik. But at the end of this shift... So it is now uh, late at night. He, you are finally served, or, or you are given this hearty meal, so all of you are able to eat. And strangely enough, he also seems to manage to produce these rations himself, and as he goes, you don't actually catch sight of where he's producing some of this bread, some of these mushrooms, uh, other bits and pieces, hard cheese from. It just appears in his hands, and he hands it to Posik, and off he goes. But as you are tucking down onto this meal, he himself does not partake. And as you start to munch down, you take your eyes off him and then turn back to talk to him, give him some uh, something to eat, and he is gone. And you hear a rustling outside, heading away from the tower. Not footsteps, mind, just this strange... Can I stick my head out the door and try and catch him? Absolutely. Oh, I can't see the door. You can? Yep. Yeah. You stick your head out and you just catch sight of a small fox running away down the path. Huh? Oh. The fox was well, the fox fox your name. Fox friend. Apparently. Well, it was good of him to stop by. Hopefully he does so again next time. Maybe in <laughs> fox form. That would explain why he knew your name. Indeed. That's that's very true. Still weird. Oh, yes. Very weird. But, hey, we got very some idea too. what's going on, and uh, we have some useful stuff. Indeed. Okay. Well, I suppose we should begin attempting to build a bridge across that moat. Hmm. So, from the sound of things, there was an undead dude in there who was trying to kill an evil sorcerer. Then the undead dude, dead dude buggered off. The evil sorcerer's stuff might still be there, and something is in there guarding treasure. Yes. Mm. Oh, and by the way, Posik, you have learnt your talent how to cook. Uh, yep. Feel free to spend it as being updated all of the things. Very good. Well, I suppose we'll get started first thing in the morning. We'll have one more night of rest and then we'll uh, get to work. Mm. Very good. All right. Well, because I've been resting, I'll keep watch for the first one. All right. Well, you still need rest, so I'm sure I can keep watch. <laughs> Do I? I thought I was good now, but okay. Oh, uh, you would be by now, yes. Oh, okay. You're... Well, if you're fine. Then. I'll... Yeah, I'll take the first watch, and then you. Even though I can't see Jack Diddley Squat! 
Thankfully, we have light. You do. You do. If there is much loud splashing, we can all hunker together and cower in our tower. The it's horses tower. are inside, yeah. Uh, yes, there's a little uh, alcove in front of, like a... Uh, oh, the word escapes me. In front of the in front of the door to the tower, there's this little covered um, portico type area that you can keep the horses in. It's just big enough to keep them together. The dreaded gazebo. Mm. Hosfey keeps a magic missile. Hmm. Yes, if the horses get eaten, they are the first warning. Ablative horse armor. Why do people want my horses to die? What have my horses <laughs> ever done to you? Nothing. We have two horses and a donkey. One of them is called Steak Witch. <laughs> <laughs> and the donkey's name is Donkey. Hosfei, shortly after you start taking watch, Durazum. it actually starts to rain quite heavily, reducing what little... Uh, vision you have even further. But cool. you, you keep to your post, keep an eye on the horses and on your sleeping companions. And just as Grok and uh, uh, others experienced, there's strange howling and screaming noises that emanate sporadically from the castle, although sometimes it sounds like it's all around you in the uh, in the mountain valleys. Very occasionally you hear a loud splashing noise from somewhere amidst the lake. And even more concerningly, every now and again you hear the faint rustle of something moving just beyond the uh, the entrance to the tower and the horses are visibly uh, visibly disturbed but nothing ever eventuates nothing ever comes of it it just remains this oppressive atmosphere and this strong feeling that you are being watched. Not so long as I look and don't touch, I'm fine. Eventually, dawn comes, but the rains have not abated all this time. It continues to pour down in rivulets down the side of the mountains and uh, down the the edge of the ruined tower. Uh, the the sunlight from yesterday is largely gone, and uh, a dim pallor crosses uh, or suffuses the whole the whole area. But you survived this night. The party is all together, perhaps a little bit damp. Is there no the roof? The friend uh, in the castle. What's the there, there's, there's parts of the roof missing, as you will note on the uh, note mm. on the uh, the artwork. So there's there's a bit of water coming in. It's just blown in, but you've had worse. Hmm. I've lived in a forest. For goodness' sake, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're used to getting we, a little bit wet. We can put the tent up inside. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we we got a fireplace as well. We're good. Glamping is what we're doing. Glamping. Mm, yes. yes. <laughs> Definitely set up the tent and we can go full style glamping. Mm. <laughs> well, I suppose we'll uh, have to get to the works constructing this bridge. I'm not entirely certain how you plan on getting the, the wood over. You see, you cut down a tree and then you cut off the branches and then what you have is a cylinder. Then you yes. take the cylinder, you roll it up there, and then you turn it, and then you push on the back. 
it's the pushing on the back bit that I'm not entirely certain if we're going to be able well, to do this. You could also but... stand it up and let it fall over. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of us, and we've got a couple of horses and things for dragging, so it should be possible. Should be possible. Mm. It's just how long it takes and how loud Um, construction it is. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I have constructed a bridge. Mm, Have I, though? (laughs) So how wide is this gap that we need to cross? Give me a moment, I will show you. Okay. It's not awful. 8.4 meters. Up, oh, I've drawn a thing. Mm. How do I make it go away now? Um, click on the select tiles part of that. Oh, I'll just clear it. There we are. There we are. Apparently that's what happens when you use the measuring tool and the circle together. Measuring circles! You know, Cairo and Pebble. And do we have one for... Oh, I haven't got a token for... Steak uh, Witch. Witch. I'll just double up. So yes, this is your challenge, and you can potentially spend a shift building a makeshift bridge if you wish. That would require a successful craft roll with an egg one modifier, because it will be somewhat difficult, but you certainly do have enough wooden material for it. And haunces? And haunces, yes. I don't have crafting. Does anybody have strength? I've got strength, but I can't craft with the damn. I've got crafting. Mm -hmm. Mm, I have no crafting either. I suppose it will be up to our mushroom wizard to do it. Can you just (laughs) grow us a bridge? I mean, maybe. Possible. How many years do we want to get in? (laughs) Maybe just reinforce the bridge with some mushrooms to hold it together. (laughs) First, we have to get the branch over the... Yeah. First we find log and drag log. Avoid okay. the water. Yes, let's avoid the water. Also, uh, should somebody keep watch on the water? That sounds like an incredibly good idea. <laughs> okay, who's the most useless of us here at the moment? <laughs> we're all useless. Yeah, we're all useless. <laughs> okay, who's got the best, who's got the best um, scouting? Was it scouting? Uh, uh, scouting yes. is two. Okay, you... Oh, but you're the strong one. No, My scout is three. three. My um, crafting is five. Because strength. Yeah, my strength is three. Oh, do you... Whack it. Flick yourself in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Pozik should do the crafting. I will do the scouting. And I will just help. Yes, sounds good. All right. All right. Apparently they need to stop listening to the reasonable lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make your rolls, please. Let's see how well you do. Oh, God, this crafting roll's going to go so badly. <gasps> I didn't fail. Oh, but I can push. But it's probably not going to do anything. I think I'm going to push. Oh! 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 Ooh, very good. Any minuses? I put Um, minus one on mine. Yeah, neg one, neg one. Because it is a fairly difficult task, what you're doing. Pretty awkward. And for the scouting? Uh, No, nothing. No modifier for the scouting. Hey. All right. Should your sixth sense have applied to that? Oh, he's got two successes anyway, so he's... Yeah. He is pretty good. Can Cairo scout as well? To... Um, I was going to say that given your success, Hosfe, that you've actually managed to uh, rustle the aid of your various animals 
uh, to provide you with various logs and bits and pieces. You've got a bit of a, a train going. As you and Pozik and Grok uh, do manage to make some headway constructing a makeshift bridge, and I apologize I won't have a, a token. Oh, actually, I might be able to do this. Rustle up here. a token. Rustle up a rough, very, very rough uh, thingamajig. That's the technical term. One MacGuffin uh, coming up. One MacGuffin, yep. Yeah. I'll do that. Boop. That's all those. There we go. Boop. And then. We built a laser bridge. A <laughs> it's laser a laser bridge. bridge. Suddenly, Cyberpunk. Ah. <laughs> Shadowrun. Turns out this was all a brain dance. No. <laughs> <laughs> well. I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Life is a lemon. And you spend several, about three or four hours, it takes you quite some time to haul all this wood over, to prepare it, to, to lay it down carefully, and, and you do manage to accomplish it without anything happening untoward. But just as you reach your moment of triumph, Darius calls out a warning as shooting forth from the depths of the moat comes this ringed tentacle uh, mast of arms and horrible things leaping out towards whoever it can get its hands on. It's sticky, sticky hands on. But I will allow you all to roll initiative. Initiative. See? Is that just agility or? Uh, actually, I can roll it for you just to make things efficient. Hmm. Fortunately, thanks to Darius's warning, you all able are able to get to act before the tentacle. Posic, you are the first to respond. Well, in my role as designated meat shield, I think I need to go hack the tentacle to make it run go away. <laughs> Very well. Let's see if I can find a change in music to uh, accompany this. There we are. That'll do. All right. Go for it, Bosic. As this massive tentacle seems to slap, it's almost like octopus tentacles. Just trying to feel their way towards you as they try to smash against the, your beloved makeshift bridge. Yeah, that was terrible. You swing, but it's too far. You're just out of reach of your uh, of your blade as you try to hack away at the, the tentacles. Mm, if I push that, I'm going to take one damage automatically, so I won't leave it for the moment. Indeed, Darius. I'm going to try and sling it. Hit it with a rock. Go away. Shoo. <laughs> Any modifiers? Uh, no, this would be at short range, so you're good. <laughs> Sploosh! Your pebble lands in the water to no effect. Some arrows nice. might be useful. Mm-hmm. The lake's moving now. It certainly does seem to be. The horses get startled and start to... I'm not that way! <laughs> Head away, with Kyra following after them. Even Steak Witch! Steak Witch is doing it at a less frenetic pace, let's say. Oh, Steak Witch is backing off from the water, but it is your turn, Hosway. What do you wish to do? It's my turn. <sighs> Should I go across the bridge? Should I get the horse? I know I should shoot it, but where should I shoot it from? Um, I'm going to try the bridge. Uh, can I move and shoot, or can I only do one? You need to knock a knock an arrow first. So you can move and knock an arrow and then shoot next turn, or you can stand still and 
Thank you. Okay, I'm going to knock an arrow and move as far across the bridge as I can. Do I need to do a check to get across the bridge? Uh, I would say no, not not at this point. You've managed to make it, but uh, you can get across in a single move, I will say. In a single bound. Mm-hmm. The system's quite generous with its movement. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to get to there, and um, I have an arrow knocked. And uh, is it a free action to call Cairo? Uh, no, that would have been a, a check, so okay. you won't be able In to turn. do that. Very well, Grok. I'm going to try and shove it back down into the water with my staff. <laughs> oh. No, back, down, down. <laughs> Bad tentacle monster, Bad. <laughs> Bonk. You like the spaghetti? Is it, is it the S Swedish chef from? <laughs> Except he had a gun. It's very Did useful. He? Yeah, he shot all things all the time. Oh, I thought he it just the well the thing I I remember is him just pushing the spaghetti back into the. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that sketch where everything tried to get out of the bowl. <laughs> I do think culminated in him shooting it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't be talking about. That's right. You give it a good old bonk, Mister Grok. Uh, roll for damage for your uh, for your shove. Oh no, no. Sorry, you just you're just pushing it down. Um, indeed, you manage to push the tentacles away, and they seem to drop back into the water, almost silently, when the, with only the faintest bloop. Bad fish. Bad. I can't believe that worked. For the moment, at least. And then suddenly they erupt again, almost like a tidal wave. Rushing out and seeking to grasp Posic. Yeah, I see my future and it's all bad. Fortunately for you, you manage to beat the tentacles away as they try to grasp a hold of your legs and pull you down into the water. Posic, your turn, sir. Okay, the tentacle monster just tried to eat me. This means it gets a stabbing. What did it feel like? <laughs> Gross, I'm guessing. Wing and a miss. I'm not winning at this whole sorting things business today. No. No, it doesn't seem to be your, your day. And I hold uh, the rest of my action in reserve as a dodge, parry, whatever, and yeah, I guess that's me. Very well, Darius. Now I cast a stupid measuring tool. Ah. There it is. Well, in that case, I'm going to stop, cease. <laughs> Run up and start stabbing at the tentacle with my dagger. Oh. See how you go. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Got him. Slightly. Fiercely, ferociously, the little goblin steps forward and sla slides its dagger into the, the, the horrible black flesh of this of this mass of tentacles and Perhaps much to your disgust, Darius, that same black ichor flows from the wound as the tentacles writhe. If it bleeds, it dies. <laughs> if it bleeds, we can kill it. Mm. Well, I suppose that'll be me. Very good. The horses... Stop a few dozen meters away from all the excitements, uh, with Cairo standing or sitting with them, but they're still pouring at the ground, uh, as as horses do when they're quite upset. Good boys. 
Hosfei, your turn. Die, die, die. Uh, I will shoot and then reload, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I will shoot with the longbow. Uh, I don't get sharpshooter yet, do I? No. Sad face, Magoo. Oof. With a sploosh, your arrow lands short. And I have an ammunition roll from you, please. Uh huh. That's in my gear, isn't it? Uh, yep, uh, down the bottom of. Yep, yep. Nope, you're all good. Fantastic. Ten. Very good. A grok. I'm going to try and use my staff to hook it out of the water. Uh, you would normally. Actually, your hand will have healed by now, so yes. You yeah. Have... Mm. Uh, and you certainly can try. Dang. Sadly, however, it is simply too slippery. And your fishing attempt does not go so well. I don't suppose you could turn its blood to mold or something. <laughs> I mean, eventually. Mm. Oof. Yes. Terrible rolls all around this evening. As the tentacles now try to writhe their way towards Darius, given his uh, ferocious attempt at stabbing it. Uh, fortunately, though, for the goblin, he's able to duck and weave from, away from the uh, from the slimy tentacles of doom. Pause it. Like back to you. Going. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, chop, chop, chop again. That's better. Oh, there we go. Posik goes to work, slashing back and forth against this mass of tentacles, spraying Ica everywhere, covering the the bridge and partially yourselves in, in, the, in the horrible black substance. But after a good... A good few seconds worth of, of fierce hacking. The tentacles writhe and disappear beneath the water. Time to go. It's not <laughs> time it's not to, to go. Wait back. And time to get this shit off me before it burns all my skin away. <laughs> I mean, I did touch it earlier and it didn't seem to do me any harm, but right. it's fresh. You are now out of combat. What, should, what do you wish to do? I want to get the horses. I'm going to degoop myself. I'll go get the horses. <laughs> I'm going to go play in the goop. Animal handling to get them to cross the bridge. Very good. Very good. Greg, it's not bath time. <laughs> I'm not having a bath. I'm just enjoying myself. Well, I managed to help. It takes a little bit of time, but you do manage to get your horses across the other side of your wooden bridge. Grok, what would you like to do with this strange black sticky substance? I'm just literally laying in it, rolling in it a bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'll follow the horses. Very well. He will have a strange smell to him for the rest of the day. Look at this if, point. If, this is is it any different to normal? <laughs> <laughs> no, very good, very good. And before you, and we're not, we will no longer work in fifth time because you are now exploring this place. It will just be real time. Before you lies the main gate of the castle. The portcullis is raised, granting you entrance into this small courtyard that beckons to the north beyond you, home to a large statue of some human warrior from ages past looming over you. There's no sign either of whatever strange water beast you've just had an encounter with. The moat turns placid once more, similar to the way it did when uh, Grok threw his pebble in the water. 
Wacker would like you to say, please, uh, a right proper rogering. <laughs> right proper rogering it was. <laughs> I think that's every single time we whiff a roll. <laughs> yes. Well, once more unto the breach, dear friends. Once more unto the breach. All right, well. One Give night. Cairo a reassuring pat and the reins of the horses and hopefully there's a stable in here somewhere. Well, maybe they can mosey around the courtyard eating whatever plant life has taken root. <laughs> hmm. I'd almost be tempted to take them back to that first tower and leave them in their little stally bit there. But what if we find loot? Okay, fair. I am Look, carrying any... <laughs> I am carrying <laughs> True words have never been spoken. I'm still carrying Grok's kitchen, so I've got no room in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'm, I'm it's a good way kitchen. down with money. Right. Oh, first world problems right there. <laughs> mm. Bring it on to the map. Let's hope that our not friend neighbor doesn't decide to destroy our bridge. Hmm. If it's intelligent, it'll do that. But well, it would have been the first instinct I would have thought. But instead, it tried to eat us. It doesn't seem to have much of a penchant for uh, inanimate objects. Are you sure it wanted to eat us? All we know is it was getting very close with that tentacle. Yeah, it might have just wanted to caress us. Either way, no okay with it. Just wanted hugs. I do not consent. <laughs> <laughs> so here you are again, not in any turn order. Feel free to. Start to explore as you step inside the gatehouse to the courtyard beyond. Mr. DM, I don't have a token. Oh, you don't. My apologies. I thought I'd missed someone. My apologies. Oh, there you are, sir. Ah, lovely. Thank you. Well, goo. So, to go with this directly, directly in front of you is a cliff face leading up as the rest of the castle looms up above you. Uh, and as Grok has pointed out, there's the remains of some cage and the remains of something, some creature that was in the cage, but has long since dissolved into a muddy mess of of blackish and reddish goop. We've got Do... a water break. A water break? Sounds water break. good. I might get a water break. Thank you. Would you like to take a five-minute break just to get a drink? Get some water? Sounds like a good time for it. That's all right. Yeah, do that Let me find a little bit of music to keep everyone entertained while we have a quick one minute break here, five minute break. Uh, da, 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 da.
take it away. There we go, and we're back. Okay, um, I'm going to go and investigate this door I see over here. Very I'm well. to climb the statue. All right, Darius, you approach this door, which is to one side of the gatehouse, and uh, trying to open it, it seems locked, or possibly barred. Mm. Locked door. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Grok, uh, can you give me a call it a might check just to see how you can or just a just a plain strength check to see if you can clamber up the statue Oop. unfortunately it is still pouring with rain it is very slippery uh, unless you want to push it you don't meet with uh, I'll push it if you push it, yeah. What <laughs> oh dear. Ow. You watch as Grok, Grok tries to clamber up and he gets a little bit further up the halfway up the statue, but then he slips and falls with a sickening crunch as he hurts himself. Um, that did feel good. Well, I would imagine it did. Very nice. You're right, Grok. Still walking. Okay, no broken bones. Mm. You're not gonna Don't regrow more so. of yourself, are you? Regrow? I've already lost a finger. <laughs> Poor finger. Unfortunate. Well, mm. oh dear. Um, how's first aid stuff work with this? Is there anything we can do immediately, or is it just wait till he rests and it comes good? He can he can rest and that'll come good, or he can try and use his magic upon himself. So nothing that I can do then. So I'll leave him to it. <laughs> um, so what is said giant statue when it's not being clambered all over by a goblin? It appears to be a visage of the good King Algorod, the human warlord himself, wielding his blade, Rustbite. What sort of blade is Rustbite? It's a long sword, if this statue can be believed. It's not actually the statue. Is it like the sword isn't like Excalibur no, no, or something? No, 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 no. It's 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 the the statue is much bigger than than real life. So, and is this the king when he was still a good king, or is this it, undead it skeleton yeah. lick no. king things? I'm getting Arthur's vibes from this. Oh hell yes! <laughs> no, it, very it, Arthur's. This statue, similar to the uh, the stonework you saw at the tower outside, seems to be of ancient uh, human make, and yes, it, it represents the king in his prime, the conquering warlord. Uh, so, yeah, statue of noble conquering king being all noble. We've got a cage of dissolved goop that used to be a thing. And the uh, poles that are on the ground there they're just random detritus detritus, fallen rubble bits of the building that have come off um, the, the castle is in a, a state of disrepair was that cage thing one of those dangly cages where you have prisoners in that are suspended like, like, over a thing and it, the it, suspended it's, is gone? it's quite mangled but quite possibly hmm. Hmm. A, so, a gibbet cage? Gibbet. Yes. yes, that's what I was thinking of. Thank you, Wacker. Uh, is there anything that resembles a stable? Not in your immediate vicinity, no. Okay. You could probably tie the horses up to the statue's legs or to the cage or whatever. Is there anything that resembles grass? Uh, some very limited shoots near the along the edge of the, of the cliff face, but... Oh, I'll keep walking. I'll try this door. It New too door. is locked. How dare these people. It's like <laughs> they don't want to get robbed. Potentially try to hack the door down if you really, really wanted to, but I don't I have sleight. Does anyone have sleight of hand? 
Is that would that help? Uh, they no. pick the kind of stuff. You could try to pick the lock. May I, I just limp that? around? I don't think you have any tools for that. Down. No, of course I don't have any tools. Well, let's see. No, no, I have a shovel though. That's a kind of lock pick if, appri- <laughs> if applied with appropriate force. Do I just not a crowbar? Hmm. That is, is that... something to add to our list of shit? What would be nice to have? This is probably just like the entrance to the um to the portcullis. Yeah, maybe the gate towers, whatever. Ah, well, two locked doors can't do anything with them. The thing in the cage is dissolved into nothingness, and there was nothing useful there. And the this statue is just one cohesive unit. There's no anything on it. Not that you can see, no. Um, is there any windows? If there is, that would be stupid, but I'm going to ask. Uh, not on the ground floor, but some... Like, the next story up, you do see arrow slits. A goblin small enough to fit into arrow slits? Probably not. Oh, okay. What's the murder hole situation like? Actually, I will say that there is a murder hole above or over the gateway itself. Hmm. Would it be reachable if we all stacked on top of each other's shoulders? <laughs> or a horse? Can I... It's about two stories up. Can I tie an arrow to a piece of rope and shoot it? You could certainly try, yeah. It's, it's a bit dark, a... dark up the hole up there is dark, so you can't quite see what you'd be shooting into, but you could try that. Is it a big enough hole that we could potentially climb through it, or is it like the arrow slits? It would be a one at a time, yes. You would be able to squeeze that. Does anybody have a grappling hook or similar? I feel like somebody did at some point. Do you even have a rope? <laughs> yeah, but grappling hook would be helpful. I do not have a rope. All I have is shovel and blanket. So unless we want to tie all our blankets together. And... I have rope, but I don't have a grapple. Well, it's worth a shot in the dark. But um, oh, uh-huh. I'm going to try my shot in the dark. What do you All need right. from me? Combat shot. Uh, or? basically a regular shooting roll, but at neg one to neg one. Uh, your modifier, yeah, difficult shot, mm-hmm. awkward, but you make it nonetheless. And also, double check your ammunition, please. Yours, yours, yours. Gear. If I lose all my arrows, and fine. No, nope, you're good. Your arrow. Uh, lands with a thud firmly attaching to something possibly the roof uh, in the gateway or in the archway over the over the uh, portcullis and the rope is dangling there well who's first <laughs> don't Shoddy be not. I'd say it should be me but I suspect I am the heaviest of us all and we probably want somebody light up first to uh, secure everything so, it can't be Greg because he just fell. So, Darius. Uh, very well. I will <laughs> climb the rope. Not that I can trust any of you to climb the rope anyway. <laughs> I will have a might check from you, please, sir. A might check. It'll be fine. There's a friend in this castle. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sure he's a friend. Uh, no! It's all right. It's only a fail. I haven't pushed it. Uh, well, I guess I'll give it a crack then. All right. My no, poor no. merchant arms are too noodly and weak. No! <laughs> Ooh, we are bad climbers. Dare you push it? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Unfortunately, with the second tug. The arrow actually comes free, and the whole rope and arrow comes clattering back down. Well, it was a good thing we didn't try to climb it anyway. Mm, mm. 
I prefer not to uh, fall two stories and, you know, land on an arrow. Mm, or have an arrow land on you. Mm, either way. Uh, so the doors are locked and the murder hole's no good, so shall we uh, move our way on? Onwards and upwards. Nothing Indeed. like using your feet. The roadway of cobblestones slopes steadily upwards before turning a corner, a hairpin corner, to the north. So it's a ramp tunnel archway mm -hmm. thing. Indeed. Is it covered the whole way up? Uh, no, at this point where you are, you've got sunlight or rain falling on you. So it's only... Uh, I might actually draw it on the map so I can better visualise it. I see some schmoo. Goo. Looks like the schmooey kind. Nah, yep. Yeah. So, not that Here big in the grand scheme of things. Not that big, no. Um, and that's one story up, two stories up, and um, has a fancy balustrade, two, whatever, or is enclosed? Or? Th three stories up, and it's just a overhead draw this properly basically goes and covers the the edge of, of this ramp as it goes up mm. there we are so. we're trying to be as efficient a goblin as we can Wacker but we will try to be more efficient. <laughs> but as, as the ramp continues to climb steadily, uh, at the end of this next hairpin turn, you spot a doorway into this uh, keep-like area to the north with arrow slits dotting the, the walls. The ramp continues, or it levels out, uh, and heads eastwards towards another gatehouse um, some distance off the map that way. That blood puddle ooze, whatever there, is that anything or just a stain? It looks suspiciously like a large puddle of dried blood. It's amazing the rain hasn't washed it away. It is under, oh, it's under that pathway yeah. thing. Mm. But there is no corpse with, you know, pockets we can go through or anything. Indeed, in indeed. A, the body is suspiciously missing. I will try the next door. The cleanup crew is terrible. Oh, well. This door, oh, Darius. Terrible or great? Is open. No. Uh, I need to peer inside. So it appear it we is, have found an entrance. It is dark, however. That's okay. We can see in the dark. Another door behind you. beckons beyond. Nice. These are nice, big, uh, thick sets of double doors. Are these torches on the wall or just empty sconces? Empty sconces, sadly. Dang. <laughs> you never get any torches, and I haven't had a chance to buy any. Well, Posik, would you do the honours? Absolutely. In the finest of munchkin you know, tradition, I kick down the door and I look for trouble. Go for it. Do we have to kick the door? Can we just not try the door? Ahead of you, the hall opens out into a much larger uh, hallway. And the, the, you're immediately hit by the, the pungent aroma of mould, even more so than uh, what you usually smell around Grok. Mould! Mm. But stepping inside you see this large what appears to be like a dining hall with cold hearths and nearly a score 20 or more skeletons of what appear to be uh human warriors some of them still dressed in their in their battle armor eroded and and uh, time worn as it is while a vast assortment of different fungi and molds coat a lot of the uh, perishable and wooden materials in the chamber. Oh, hell yeah. 
No, Greg, don't. You know what, buddy? Go nuts. <laughs> They're going to come to life. They're going to eat Greg, and we're going to run like hell. Just, just don't lick Greg, okay? Just. That's never been on my list of fun things to do. I'll just jump up onto the table and, you know, start dancing around, poking at the mushrooms and mini molds. Are these like banners on the wall? Down yes, here? very yeah. old, tattered banners um, with the bearing the tree sigil of Alderland. Is there anyone with a particularly large number of corpses at their feet? Uh, no, no, all the corpses seem to be arraigned actually, in fact, around the table that uh, Grok is uh, dancing on at the moment. It looks almost like they were literally at lunch having a meal when they died. Mm. And there's the remains of their, what may, or what little is left of their food is still sitting on dinner plates covered with, with mould. And uh, Grok, I will have an agility check from you, please. Mm-hmm. As your dancing on the table causes the table to creak rather dramatically, and then with a snap, the wood gives way. Fortunately, though, you're nimble enough to leap off before coming to harm. But the table just bow- bows and basically falls to pieces. I would like to inspect the new oh. skeleton. Very well. Is there like a way that you can test whether or not they were poisoned, or is that like a time thing? Because these guys have probably been dead for like hundreds of years, kind of yes, thing. Yes, yeah, and no, that's literally just bones and uh, the tattered remnants of their uh, uniforms and armor, uh, Darius. Uh, nothing, yeah. nothing of value in terms of the armor. It's it's all horribly corroded. And does anyone have a key? It's a spider web over here. So. This stuff's well and truly. We went here. They died without violence, though. Whatever killed them yeah. did so quietly. Well, what we know is that the king was cursed and all his dudes became undead. And then the undead curse was lifted and he stopped being undead. So I wonder if these guys died here or if they were undead who just stopped functioning there. Good question. I smash on one of their skulls. <laughs> it smashes uh, quite spectacularly. And sat- oh, we're smashing stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on I general like principles, I have a good pair of stompy boots, and there's a lot of skulls. I'm just going to make sure that all of the skulls are uh, non-functional, just, yeah. <laughs> I can show none of these things are going to get up. Or if they do, they don't have heads. Which makes them much easier to deal with. Does it? Just well, I'm going to... The chair with the skeleton right near, nearest to me. I'm going to check each of them to see if any of them have keys. Hmm. Make me a scouting check, please, Hosfei. Okay. As the rest of them go, go a smashing. Uh, and funnily enough, the skeletons offer no resistance to your excessive violence. I wasn't expecting them to offer any resistance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find any key, unfortunately. While you're saying, having fun, look for things that are useful. Like I will keys. also have a look around and see if I find any useful tidbits on everything as I smash their skulls in. Mm. Those alcoves in the bottom there, what's in those? Uh, they are where the arrow slits are, so. I'd say sort of scouty, turrety, windows to make people unhappy. Basically, I'll let you see through them so you can get an idea. Mm. So they go out on, into the... I notice oh, this one is right. curled over. Mm-hmm. Is there anything out of the ordinary on that one? Give me a scouting check, please. Dang it. Not that you can tell. And smash. <laughs> <laughs> and the things at the top there, that's fireplaces, stoves. 
Um, yes, there's... Well, no, these uh, seem to be old fire hearths. Nothing for cooking in them. Um, purely for warmth, you'd think. They are huge if they're just for warmth. Big castle. Big castle. cold. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. Guess that makes sense. Uh, I'll poke around in the pockets. Well, not that there is any pockets. Uh, do a scouty thing, see if I can find anything of interest yeah. in the uh, bone shards. Go for it. Scouting, scouting, scouting. <laughs> no. Gee, we find idea. nothing. Also, did you bring the, the horses actually inside this place? I also brought them inside. <laughs> Seeing that everybody else is looking around, I'm also going to attempt to just, like, look around. Go for it, girl. Not really with any real intention, I'm more doing it just because everybody else is doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be the one who finds something. He just tosses aside a key and finds a, <laughs> no. finds some um, mushrooms. mushrooms. Score. Well, these gentlemen or ladies all seem incredibly dead. Nothing for us here but bones and forgotten people. We could light a fire. No, we'll burn it down later. <laughs> Left door or one of the two top doors? Which way should we go? Left. Left door? Always go left. Mm, that's a maze thing. This isn't exactly a maze, but okay. It is a maze! <laughs> uh, I shall attempt to open the door. It is a place that we do not know how to get through. Therefore, it is maze. The door opens out into the base of a tower that goes up about three stories. You see the stairway going uh, upwards. Alright, well, there's some barrels and stuff there. Loot the room and then go upstairs. <laughs> they will tap the barrels, tap on the barrels to see if they're full of anything liquid or tasty. You uh, investigate the barrels, and they do actually appear to be full of rainwater. Oh. Water's always good. Is anyone low on water? Not me at the moment, but good to know it's there. Yes, we can yeah, always... Actually, my water's full, so... And I think this might be a good place to uh, tie up the horses, Hoss. Mm. Yeah. As they can survive for a while without... Room, I'll just scream. Like I was screaming at the castle the other day. Hello, friend. They're not, like, they're not talking. Can I have a scouting check from you, Brock, please? Hmm. You let out your scream mm -hmm. and it echoes through the, the quiet corridors and halls of this place. And all of you... Actually, yeah, I'll say that all of you hear the sound of movement, the creaking of floorboards from the floor above. Oh, I'm sure this won't go terribly. Gentlemen, lady, onwards. I knock an arrow. I tie up the horses. Open up the rainwater barrel. And... There are friends upstairs. Not everyone is a friend. The sword is ready for the stabby and the slicey, and I'll lead the way up the stairs. According to Grack, everyone is either a friend or a fun guy. Hey. <laughs> should start. Uh, <laughs> should start demeriting UXP points. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, good. One moment as I bring you on to the next floor. This music is adequately tense. Good. Where have I? There we are. I love how we're all just slowly inching along. <laughs> While we wait oh, for it to load. We'll get there, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just... It is. Like, normally you see people, like, jump massive sections, but we're all just creeping. It's cute. This, is, this is old school exploration. <laughs> mm. And I'm glad so, that yes. you're all not absolute idiots. <laughs> a little bit. 
yeah. not absolute. Mm. <laughs> Come on, we're in the Legion. We have to be absolute idiots. It's part of the entry, entry process. No, uh, the previous campaigns that I would have been in, half the team would be halfway across the map by now and probably dead. <laughs> that takes skill. <laughs> She's not wrong. Uh, so, have found door. Mm. Is the creaky noises coming from other side of door, or all has fallen silence? Well. This is a wooden floor. Given the previous wood that kind of collapsed, are we worried about the floor collapsing? Thank you for that level of paranoia. I didn't know that I needed it. <laughs> I am now. <laughs> Inspect the floor. Well, Greg was table dancing a second ago and it Some fell over. It looks quite unstable, Darius, yes. Mm, worth your step. You never know when these old buildings just give in. Posic, would you mind knocking for our new friend? <laughs> I'll knock on the door. Knock, knock, knocking on stranger's door. <laughs> I'm watching my step, making sure I'm not stepping on anything that's going to give out. You may knock on the door and you may open it. No response to the knock. I'll give it a... Violence Sorry. comes the stern reply, yes. Alright. Uh. As you step into a corridor. And yes, um, actually, Hosfa, you don't have any light source, do you? No. No, so um, yeah, you sh probably shouldn't have that much that much vision. Oh, and it's so, so I can't see anything. There we are. Kill me, please. <laughs> I've go. got a goblin to come back as. <laughs> Oh, I will also note, um, because when I made this map I forgot to add it, there is further stairs going up to the roof of this tower, it would seem. Mm. Yeah, Did tower. it seem like it was coming from up upstairs or just this stairs? No, the, the noise came from sort of back towards the, the dining hall, but up a floor. Like. Okay. Oh, by the way, Greg, please. Yes? For the love of the raven. Warn us if you're going to start screaming again. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. Just start with me as all. That's all right. It's how the castle talks. I think we turn right and go down towards the sort of southeast because that's probably where that noise was coming from. Sounds good to Darius. He'll start heading down to the south of the map. Ah, a corridor with doors. Mm-hmm. Our favourite. Doors, doors, get your doors now. <laughs> no windows. I will test the first door. Does she open? Yes, it, it's pretty swollen with, with water, but uh, it does shift open, revealing a mouldy, tumble-down bedroom, it seems. You've got the remains of a very old... Wooden bed, desk, not much else. Yeah. Fireplace. <laughs> Check it quickly, see if there's anything of interest, and then move on to the next room. Check for keys. Yeah. Yeah. Anything under the pillow, on the bed, and all those sort there's of... There's not real much left. No, it's, it's pretty, pretty sparse. Um, Looking for keys can... and torches. You can make a scouting roll if you wish. Sure, let's do that. I have rags. I mean, I'm wearing them, but I only need my cloak. It's wood here. We can make torches. No joy in this room, Posic, unfortunately. Can I grab, like, a piece of the bed frame or something like that and grab a pillow, rags, and make a torch? Uh, you, there's plenty of wood, yeah, there's plenty of things you could try to burn if you had a fire source. I'm not setting fire to, um, crack. Oh, yeah, fire source. Uh, I have a flint and steel. And 
The next chamber is much the same. Mouldy, tumble down, uh, with the remains of beds. Well, Within. not much of excitement in this part of the building. That was a fireplace in that first room, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. All of the, all the both rooms seem to have fireplaces. Can we start a fire in the fireplace? Yeah, I just did the fireplace in the second room. Uh, well, in the room that uh, we are in, I will use my flint and steel to start a fire in the fireplace and burn some bits of um, bookcase or whatever. So the right. boss has got a light source to start doing the thing with. You can certainly do that. One moment. Do, 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 do. Is that just a thing that happens, or do you want me to roll survival or something? Uh, actually, yeah, make me a survival check, please. See if I can make this pretty. Uh, no, you are successful. Takes takes you a few minutes, but you manage to get some uh, some wood. Get a fire guy. That is a very cool effect. Flickery. I want to see it. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll, I'll go through this room, see if there's anything worthy of stealing and or anything that is good for making torches out of. Um, stealing. Mm-hmm. Can I use my hunting instincts? I know it says that I have to have a prey, but can I scent anything that's like, because there wouldn't have been anything in this building for like forever, except for the thing that we're looking for. Can I smell it? Make me a survival check, please. Survival. <laughs> Which one's that? Uh, under your wits. Oh, it is there too. I just can't see it. Ooh, two. Right. You uh, take a few moments, a minute, uh, a few minutes to just get a sense of this place, and your instincts are correct that th there's nothing living. You don't see any signs of living creatures having taken up residence here. Um, and indeed, uh, as you and Cairo are looking around, you notice that Cairo is starting to get more and more nervous as you go along. Like he, he's he's on edge. Okay. As you are continuing to ponder and consider these things, you hear another creak of movement on floorboards, this time coming from uh, to the north, if you can see my ping. Yes, I can. Yeah. Mm. Seems we've Friends. gone in the wrong direction, or perhaps the right direction. Oh, maybe it's doing laps. Well, perhaps, perhaps we should check the next room. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm going to let them continue looking. I'm going to keep watch out in the hallway. Not that I can see anything. Can I have my light? Oh, you've lit a torch for yourself? Yes. You're holding on to some... Yep, cool. No, we can do that. Um... <laughs> Peace. Yay! I know I'm now ridiculously visible, but <laughs> that's all right. They'll focus on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they won't see the knives in the dark. Um, just adjust the. There we go. Yeah. All right. More of the same, Posic. This seems to be sort of like a barracks area. This whole 
building. The green goop on the floor is just stained. Mold. Mold. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna mess with it. <laughs> Greg, we can come back and turn this whole place into a culture. Just not now. Ooh. Darius, as you turn the corner, something suddenly surges out of the darkness of shadow and tries to thrust you through the float through the th throat. Yeah. Can I attempt to parry? Uh, this was a surprise. So, no, unfortunately, it, it lunges forth, and all of you watch as this strange morass of almost like pure darkness lunges out of the shadow and strikes Darius nearly across the throat, but severely wounding him, leaving a horrid gash across his upper torso as the poor goblin uh, struggles. But just as quickly you see it recoil back into the shadows as uh, Hosfei's torch advances. But we are now in initiative order. As congratulations, you're in combat. Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> I fell <laughs> dying. Thank goodness I lit that torch. <laughs> mm. May I suggest yeeting it at it? Should I go get more? I don't want to set this whole place on fire. Or well, maybe in the end, but not yet. Hosve. Um... Cairo starts to whimper and back away. I'm not against the idea of it being all on fire. <laughs> There's a lot of wood here. Also a lot of mold. A lot of shadows. I feel like Zorg will be praised mightily this eve. <laughs> well, it appears to be afraid of... Can I smell anything? Obviously, it's. I'm not going to smell anything, but can I smell something? No, you can't, unfortunately. There's nothing, as I said, from your... Uh... From your attempts at, attempts at working out what might live here, no, you don't smell anything. Although, no, you don't. <laughs> Not at this point. May I suggest that we all carry torches so that that doesn't happen again? Uh, I think that's a great idea once we've dealt with this thing now. Do you need you help? Are, you are in turn order, by the way, Sue. So, um, oh, okay. So you can offer a few... A few words to the party as part of your turn, Hosfe. Uh I think I'm going to be better off with a torch in my hand rather than a bow. So, um... oh, what would I do? What would I do? Uh, I'm going to do the light. What's oh, sorry? Lead the way. Um, um, I'm going to do a Hannibal handling check on Cairo to get him to come to me. Waste of a turn, I know. But... Right, Cairo responds, still whimpering, but uh, comes oh. up to you, tail between legs. I know, buddy, I know. And Darius, you are bleeding quite heavily from this horrible gash going to retreat back behind the corner at least and be like that thing hurts I'd suggest getting as close to Hoss as you can so that you've got the protection of the light if that does anything dang it, go back to the door there we go maybe even double back to the room I was just going to say I'm gonna... yeah Maybe I could go that far. Dang it. Yeah. There we go. Alright. That's probably the limit of my movement, though. Oh no. I can move a lot further than that. Hmm. 
You could probably reach the threshold of of the uh, of the door. Other room. Yeah. 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 Posic. The thing, whatever it is, is around the corner to the left there. Yeah. So I will stay between the corner and Hosfe and just be ready for stabbing anything that comes at us. Very well. The corridor is a square. <laughs> As you prepare yourself, Posit, for whatever's coming from around the corner, all of you hear a scream, this blood-curdling, horrible noise coming from the from behind you, uh, back in this direction. And then suddenly there's a rush of of what sounds like wind, and the torch or the firelight goes out. Back to the fire, back to the fire. Grok. Go to a room. Seal the doors. <laughs> I just run after Darius. I can help, I can help. And I'll attempt to use my healing hands on him. Just by scraping up a bit of dirt and stuff that I found on the floor and spitting in it and turning it into a little bit of clay. And just slapping it right on that great big gash. Very well. I believe he recovers two hit points, his two strength. Putting him back onto his full. Help. Is a uh... you'll be okay. Well, not if we don't get out of here, we won't. Or kill this thing. Hmm. Uh, into a room, and I'll guard the door while you guys try and light a fire. Good plan. Hosf hmm. Hosfe, your turn. Uh, I will go to the room that Darius is standing in front of. Then. Mm -hmm. With uh, Cairo. I think it's the next room down that we had a fire going on. No, it's gone. As well. oh. I think that's the one that went out. Oh, this one's got mushrooms in it. Good. Clearly, it's the room we're meant to be in. I only want one select. Uh. And. Do I have an action or do I only have a movement? Uh, you have a move and you can act. That's. I would like to start dragging this like broken bits of bed frame into the. Uh, into the fireplace, yeah. You into the that. fireplace. Yeah. And starts trying to stoke a fire. All right, you can probably drag it across the floor and put a start putting in, but you won't have yep. the time to. That's fine. To light it, uh, Darius. I'm going to take up position on the inside of the door here. Nope, oh, I've closed the door. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. I hear the little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. I don't like that. <laughs> creep them, creep them slowly, slowly, right up to your chin. Open <laughs> wide your little mouth. But do not let, let them, them in. in. <laughs> what <Hot> in tarnation? <laughs> <laughs> it's the lyrics of that song. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. It is. It, it is, is, yeah. It is the lyrics of that song. I sing it to my son often. Mm. I have not heard it. Oh, God. That is the first time I have heard that in this concert. It's not usually I sung like, like that, but... Hear it again. Mr. Posick, sir, you are all alone in the corridor. I am joining them in that room as soon as I come <laughs> up in order. Go yeah, I it. suggest closing the door. Mm -hmm. And you may shut the door, yes, indeed. So there's some shit out there. I believe we need to <laughs> unalive it somehow. Mm. If it is alive. 
I think stage one of that is fire, lots of fire. Praise be Zorg. Let him cleanse all with his light. You know, for once, I'm actually <laughs> going to agree with you. The power of Zorg compels us. You all hear what f sounds terribly like a, a rushing of wind. Uh, you have the floorboards creak again, but uh, coming from all sort of around you uh, in the corridors and in the rooms beyond. And then everything falls silent again for another gurgling, sickening cry, almost like the hunting call of, a, of an animal or a beast. Uh, echoes through the empty halls. Fortunately, though, and I can take us out of initiative for this moment, you light a fire, and this room, at least, is warm and filled with light. This mold tastes pretty good. <laughs> I'm Never change, Grant. Never change. <laughs> now, I'm wondering, ladies and gentlemen, whether this is a good point to call it for this evening, or if you'd like to continue a bit more. I'm happy either way. I mean, this is the perfect shid uh, cliffhanger, so... <laughs> yes, the evil wind is coming for us. Matching shid. Yes, who went to the bean house. <laughs> <laughs> The Bean House. I've seen the reviews for that place. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's got more than five stars on Google. It's a ghost of Wide Tom. <laughs> he haunts these halls. <laughs> is a naked flame actually a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> Only if it mixes with oxygen. Then we're in problem country. Well, in that case, then, I suppose we'll leave it there for a cliffhanger until next time. Indeed. Thank you all. Thank you very much for uh, running the game, Sterling. It's always great fun. Thank you. Well, not a problem. Thank you for being uh, such lovely players and uh, being good sports. <laughs> and I'm so glad to have Grack back. In Indeed. Grack 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. A good uh, half an hour rolling those dice. <laughs> uh, abandon all out. hope the song that uh, Ultima slash Grack was singing it is actually a children's song it's not usually sung with that kind of deep <laughs> it's usually a happy song and it makes kids, kids giggle so <laughs> you hate it <laughs> yeah no I, I can honestly say I hate it too <laughs> it's a terrible song <laughs> It talks of the things the that crawl in the dark. Question, but but yeah. do not let them in. <laughs> but yes, um, we shall definitely call it there as our illustrious and brave party stands alone in the dark in the depths of we Weatherstone. We'll see whether they'll survive next session in a fortnight's time. So thank you all. Uh, again, thank you to the party. And uh, have a lovely evening or morning wherever you might be in the world. Indeed. Good night, all. Until next Good time. Good night.